Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen table and another one on my videos and today we'll be discussing and reviewing the main part of the June 2024 LEGO Star Wars wave of sets. So to start off with you'll get my initial thoughts of this wave and it's that man these are some really good minifigures with both a cool battle pack as well as ourselves a Captain Rex for a reasonable price. It's a toy for kids. So yeah, I'm on that part of the main discussion with the Venator gang here. And then we also got ourselves a nice pass Vizsla since I wasn't able to pick that one up when he was out the last time. And we got ourselves some cool Praetorian guards and Moff Gideon. So yeah, there are some really cool minifigures, uh, but the builds isn't too memorable, they're not too displayable. Uh, some of them have some cool features that will be great for kids. I mean, both the bell pack and the little doorway scene are cool to display if you're a kid to play with, and especially the doorway scene here, where you can recreate that part from the uh, show. Well, a little turret, storage, and we got some cool stickers, both here on the front, with the doors, and especially with this little Architons uh, class cruiser here, that you get as a sticker, and that will be really cool to use in mocks. But I didn't bother too much with the sets. I didn't even build these two. They have already been sorted and put in as a part of the Lego build. Instead, I made a little art alternate build for you guys if you want to actually have the standard battle pack experience instead of just some rocks. So, we got ourselves a little Mandalorian patrol speeder here that I did as an alternate build, uh, as well as a little trench with a turret that you can post a little bit and we've got some crates a little gun rack and a place where you can uh, stand two of your minifigures to defend the wall i will be releasing this as a free <laughs> instruction on my rebrickable after this video so check that out if you want to do something else with this one uh, it wasn't like the final first battle pack where you can make these crazy alternate builds, but yeah. So with two battle packs, you can build this little speeder and this trench, and it actually does connect with the uh, main part of the uh, set here, like that. So you can also post it. Yeah, check that out in the description down below. And let's get right down to the minifigures, which is the main feature of this whole wave. If you've seen my channel before, you can probably guess that I was going to like the Imperial Super Commandos the most out of this wave. Definitely. With some really cool printing and a great way to army build an airborne component to your Imperial Army. This cool jetpack and all that. I also like the waste printing where they actually connected all the little pouches and all that in a good manner. My one gripe with this minifigure is that they gave them bland heads. Why Lego? Since they have really done detailed faces underneath all the stormtroopers and clone troopers for a couple of years now. I think it's just lazy to not give these guys that we know are conscripted soldiers or employed soldiers or whatever a face underneath. I feel kind of the same with that Mandalorians, but I'm not as disappointed since, I guess if you want them to be part of the Mandalorian Creed, we would never have seen their faces, but I think they're supposed to be the uh, mercenary Mandalorians that uh, we see at the end of the show. And we have seen some of their faces, so you could just put like a generic, almost a clone face underneath, and that would be cool too. Then we have what will be most of you viewers main feature for this wave, which is of course 
the Phase 2 Captain Rex. Uh, this is my first time getting a Phase 2 Captain Rex since I have a Phase 1 from like the 2008 or 7 ATTE. But otherwise, the Phase 2 Captain Rexes of uh, old came out during my Dark Ages. So I never picked one up. And I'm really happy to get one. And yeah, that's why you can probably see that I'm on the part of the it's a toy for kids. Let's 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 get kids their favorite minifigure. And me as an agile fan of Lego, I agree. We should have a $13 Captain Rex freely available for anyone who wants it. And not have it be locked behind the pay barrier of a Venator. But that's just my thoughts and feel free to roast me in the comments about it. Then we got ourselves a Pass Vistler. It's really detailed and cool. And I didn't pick up the Mandalorian Forge before, so I thought this will be my shot to actually get the minifigure. And then we also got these Praetorian Guards that can stand guard for Moff Gideon here in his Mandalorian armor. It's rather cool and it's nice to have a named Imperial uh, minifigure. Uh, of some higher rank, so he'll be cool to use in mocks if you want to, and all that. But otherwise, I wasn't too interested in these three minifigures, even though I kind of like the Praetorian Guards now that they've been used as a more strategic asset that he calls for to get, instead of just being the Royal Guards that you see in the other parts of the movies. Yeah, so for a wave of minifigures, pretty much, this is a great one at that. I will army build and get quite a few of the Imperial Super Commandos, so I'm gonna keep buying these battle packs since I want to be able to launch these guys from uh, my troop deck in the 8080. And then it'll be cool to also get your own little mercenary faction of Mandalorians as well. So who knows, this winter you might see a full Mandalorian army as well as an Imperial one. So those are my initial thoughts of the whole wave and as a mock builder it comes with some really great dark tan pieces that I will use as terrain in my mocks and that is why they bring a lot of value to me. Well, be sure to check out my alternate build if you want to. Uh, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.